My name is Mac Oppie. I'll be showing you how to take a trade in as part of a cash deal in Wayne Reeves.net dealership management system. If you haven't seen our video on how to sell a car for cash, click the link on your screen now. No, really, click the link. We'll wait for you. And we're back. My customer has a trade in to put on the deal. To add a trade in, select the magnifying glass next to the number of trade ins. In order to complete a trade-in, the database only requires four specific fields to be completed. To generate state motor vehicle forms properly, all of the fields beneath car information will need to be completed. When the VIN number is added, the year, make, model, and cylinders will populate for most passenger vehicles manufactured from 1996 and on. For older vehicles, you may need to complete these fields manually. Be sure to enter the mileage of the trade-in. The best time to get this is after the test drive of the trade-in. The next two fields that need to be entered are the trade allowance and the ACV. If you have the BlackBook integration turned on, the button is in the lower right corner of the screen. Since I do have it turned on, I will use the BlackBook values for determining the trade allowance and the ACV. This particular vehicle has an average trade-in value of $1,575. The average wholesale value is $1,500. I'll use the average trade-in value for the trade allowance and the average wholesale value as the ACV for the deal. To return to the Manage Trade-In screen, click the Close button. The average trade-in value from BlackBook is $1,575. I'll enter that in Trade Allowance. The average wholesale value from BlackBook is $1,500. I'll enter that in ACV. If you don't have the BlackBook integration with your Wayne Reeves database, then you'll get the numbers you use from these best practice guidelines. The trade allowance is the value that you will give your customer on paper for their trade-in. There are lots of good ways to get this number, but ultimately it is the price you and your customer agree upon. The ACV is the wholesale actual cash value of the trade-in. In this case, use your experienced professional judgment and ask yourself, if this car were to roll down the lane at my friendly neighborhood auction today, as it is, unwashed, unfixed, what would I or anyone else be willing to pay as a maximum bid? The number you come up with is the actual cash value, wholesale, of the trade-in. Whatever number you use, don't leave it at zero. In the event there is still a lien on the title of the trade-in vehicle, the quote for payoff will need to be listed. This amount will be subtracted from the trade allowance to calculate the net trade allowance. Be sure to include the information of the lien holder the payoff goes to. If your customer has more than one trade-in vehicle, use the Add Trade-In button. When the trade-in information is complete and correct, click the Save and Exit button. This will close the Manage Trade-In screen. Now that the trade-in has been added, we can see that the Cash Due Down has updated to account for the net trade-in amount. Great, I've added a trade into the deal. My customer has reduced the cash due for the sale and I don't have an empty space on my lot. Thank you for choosing Wayne Reeves. It's so easy and sell lots of cars. <laughs>